Well, James, you've uh, had time to reflect on Saturday's game. Uh, what are your thoughts uh, looking 48 hours after? Well, we've had to uh, obviously move forward into Woking quite quickly because we've got the game tomorrow. Um, a disappointing end for all of us, supporters included, directors, players. But there's going to be more bumps than that in the road if we want to get to the, the end destination and we want to make sure we move on quickly. And all we can do on that is um, learn. We need to shut out games a little bit better, obviously. It's, it's clear as day. Um, but overall, I was really pleased with the second half performance. The first half was always going to be tight. It was two teams working each other out. But when the space came in the second half, we scored two good goals. I know there were two tap-ins, but the build-up play and the quick free kick for the second one, I was really impressed with two deliveries from Calvin. Um, so there's many positives to take from the performance. We have to make sure we shut it out better at the end there. And um, yeah, the confrontation line in, this, in the last seven minutes was too deep. Um, but we've got to learn as a group. And um, if we do play that deep in the, in the last knockings of the game, first and second contacts are crucial and we didn't win those, did we? And among the uh, positives that you mentioned, of course, two more goals for Kabongo. Yeah, um, really impressive. Great start for him, 9-8. and eight. I'm delighted for him. But it comes from his work rate, uh, not the other way around. He was in the right positions because his work rate was uh, solid from the start to the end. And his work rate has been the most impressive thing for all the other things he's done for the team with the goals, etc., and the assists, his work rates bring in success. And a, a reminder, if it were needed, about the fine margins and how football can really kick you in the teeth at times just with that late, well, the two late goals. Yeah, but uh, I'm sure we're going to score a last-minute winner or last-minute equaliser this season, and we've got to realise it's an invasion game and the other team have a game plan. And if that game plan doesn't work, they might plan, have a plan B, and their plan B got them two goals at the end of the game. And we didn't combat it well enough um, from a position of complete control, really, in the second half. So um, a lot to, to take, uh, I know, um, heightened because obviously BT were here and the country were watching. But we've got to put that to the back of our mind and be focused on our own journey. It's a blip in terms of um, blips and how se severe it would be. We drew the game. We didn't lose the game. And we're still unbeaten. One of the few teams in England still unbeaten. So we've got many positives keep our feet on the floor, keep working hard and the points will come and the points return at the moment. If we have 18 from the next eight, we're going to be in a really good position come Christmas. And there's no time to dwell on it as well because of course a game on Tuesday night away at Woking. So uh, how pleased are you that you could, you've got a game so quickly? We know the level, the games come quick and fast. Um, we've got to make sure we react properly. Um, I wasn't happy with our reaction after the Dover performance and it's clear obviously we didn't hit performance objectives for the duration of the 90 minutes against Torquay we've got to do better our performance levels need to be better and more consistent if we want to win more games now if we get 18 points from eight like I keep saying then we're not going to be far off it's a solid start out of 16 games so we've got to take um, the positives from the game as well the lads came out in the second half and performed better and we let it slip at the end so look we're looking forward to the game um, obviously we need to think about the physicality of the two games in three days and players will come in and players will come out um, but um, we've got to remember it's, our form's coming from a solid base and our confidence needs to stay high It's been a difficult start to the season for Woking due to Covid and what sort of threat will they pose? A big threat they, they want to kickstart their season at home they've only had one game at home and they've lost obviously 3-2 in a close game to Halifax so they're going to be looking to get that three points on the board at home um, and build on the six points they've got already the the Covid break we know uh, all too well that it can go both ways kind of it can act as a positive because you're rested um, but also can be a negative can't it because you've had time off so um, it's no point um, trying to speculate how they're going to perform However, I would imagine they're going to have a right go because they're at home and they want to get off to a good start at home.